Hello everyone, I am Harshita and today we are going to discuss the concept of the receipt reversal in the account receivable. So what happens is like we have booked the receipt or created a receipt in the instance, but due to some reason we want to reverse it. So how we can do that? First of all, there are two types which with which we can reverse the receipt which we have already booked. First is standard receipt reversal and second one is debit memo receipt reversal. What happened in the standard uh, receipt reversal is we create a transaction and book a receipt against that transaction and then we uh, reverse that receipt. Right. And in the debit memo re receipt reversal, what happens is we create a transaction, book a receipt, but do not reverse the receipt. We create a debit memo of that amount. Equal to the amount of receipt. Fine. So this is how this concept work. So we will go to the instance and we will create a receipt reversal one with the standard and next with the debit memo. So we will see both the methods. Fine. So moving to the instance. Now after logging to the application, first we will see how to do the standard receipt reversal. So first for that we will create a transaction. Going to navigator receivable billing. Create transaction. Every detail of the class transaction source transaction type is coming. My business unit is also coming. Just linking the customer here. Given description. And complete and review. This is the transaction number. That is six two seven double six. Fine. And here you can see that total amount is coming 1090. It is including tax. So we will book a receipt including tax only. So for booking the receipt, we will go to navigator and a receivable account receivable. Go to task list, create receipt. Give receipt method. Give receipt number. I'm giving one, two, three, four, five, six. Enter amount. One zero nine zero was the amount. Then give the customer details. Customer site. and some bit and apply manually. Now go to add application. Give the transaction number which we have created, 62766. Fine. Unapplied amount is coming 20. Maybe due to some transaction held before, it is coming like that. No issues. We will make the applied amount as 1090 and discount zero. Fine. Now save and close. Now we will go to manage receipt. And search by the receipt number one, two, three, four, five, six.
fine. So this is the receipt. Just click. Go to actions. Here, reverse is coming. Just click here. Give the category. Like I'm giving you a non-sufficient fund. I'm reversing due to non-sufficient funds. And give the reason also, non-sufficient fund. I'm giving it as a non-sufficient fund only. And reverse. Fine. So this is how you can do that. Now just cancel it. You can see the status. Reverse is coming. Fine. The status is now reversed. So we have reversed the receipt. Fine. So this is known as standard receipt reversal. Now we will see debit memo receipt reversal. So for that, we are quickly going to make one transaction. Going to navigator, billing. But to create transaction from task list. Give customer. description and complete and review. Fine. So transaction number is six two seven six seven. Fine. Now we will book a receipt against this transaction. Disable, go to account disable. Now go to task list, create receipt, give receipt method. Give receipt number. I'm giving four, five, six, four, five, six, seven. Enter amount one zero nine zero. Give customer detail. Site. And submit and apply manually. Fine. Go to add application and give a transaction number Right now, I'm awarding the discount, and total I'm taking is applied amount, and amount due is zero. Fine. Now we will go to actions and reverse. Same procedure. But now, what we will do, we will give the category and we will give the reason also. But we will not reverse, we will create a debit memo reversal here. Just enable this box, give the type as I'm giving here as. Debit memo. Fine. And account is already coming. Just reverse it. Fine. 
and save and close. Now we will go to the manage receipt. No, we will go to the transaction billing. Fine. To see that debit memo has been created by the system or not. Manage transaction. I'm searching by the date. It's April. Here. So this is the debit memo reversal created. Fine. 1090 in today's date. So this is how re receipt reversal work in the instance. We have seen both standard reversal and debit memo reversal. So it was all about it. Thank you.